said, Let there be light, and there was light. Thank you, Father. The Lord has been to tell someone, Your generation will call you blessed. And God saw the light that it was good. The Lord asked me to tell someone up till now you don't really know the meaning of good. Oh, my to my being conda. But he asked me to tell you, before the end of this month, you will know what good means. <laughs> and God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. There is someone called God. Every wise person knows there is someone called God. According to Psalm 14, verse 1, only fools can say there is no God. Psalm 14, verse 1. And according to the word of God, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 35, Proverbs 3, 35, it doesn't pay to be a fool. Because the Bible says, those who are wise will inherit glory. But shame shall be the promotion of fools. So there is someone called God. Those who believe there is God. Who are here tonight. Please one more time shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now this God, the first time he introduced himself, he called himself the all-sufficient God. Genesis 17 verse 1. Genesis 17 verse 1. And then in Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke 1, 37. It is written that with this person called God, there shall be nothing impossible. So I want to rejoice with you tonight that your own case will not be impossible with God. Now this God, who is all sufficient, who can do anything, at the beginning, created two principal things. Heaven and earth. One of the two things that he created 
is called heaven. The second is called earth. Heaven was so wonderful that God decided I will use this as my throne. And then the second one, the earth, he said I will use it as my full stool. Isaiah 66 verse 1. Isaiah 66 verse 1. He created two things. One is wonderful. Called heaven. As the one we've been discussing since this one week. But the second thing he created called the earth was problematic. It had all kinds of problems. But he controls all the problems on this earth by putting it under his feet. So it doesn't matter uh, how many problems you may have. They are under the feet of God. That's why I can assure you you will get your solutions tonight. Amen. Now, so this God sits in heaven and from there he controls the earth and he does so by speaking. That's why you should not be surprised that tonight he has been speaking, speaking, speaking even before we start preaching. He speaks. And the moment he speaks, it is done. In Psalm 33, Psalm 33 from verse 8 to 9, the Bible said the whole earth should fear the Lord. And he said the reason they should fear him is because once he has spoken, it is done. He has spoken to some people tonight. And it's already done. Whether the rest of the people believe it or not. At least 200,000 people have already been healed tonight. But he will do more. He controls the earth by sitting in heaven and speaking a word. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, Genesis 1 verse 3, Genesis 1 verse 3, he said, let there be light. How long does it take before there was light? The, the moment he said, let there be light, immediately there was light. Everything on earth was a mess. 
But once he said, Let there be light, everything changed. What is the meaning of let there be light? It means darkness go. Darkness give way. And I'm happy to tell someone that right now darkness will leave you alone. Amen. When he says darkness go, physically it is good news for those who are living in darkness good news for those who have problems with their eyes because in Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 52 Mark 10 46 to 52 when Bartimaeus cried unto him that he wanted his eyes to be opened Jesus didn't touch him he didn't pray for him he spoke a word let there be light in the name that's above every other name I decree right now all of you who have problems with your eyes let there be light when he said let there be light when he said darkness go it also means stagnation come to an end because when it is dark it becomes difficult to move if they take off the light here right now majority of us can only do one thing we just sit down where we are until light comes but when you find in John chapter 5 from verse 2 to 9 John 5 from verse 2 to 9 it tells us the story of a man who had been going around in circles for 38 years when Jesus got to him he didn't pray for him he didn't touch him he spoke a word rise up take your bed and walk and the stagnation of that man came to an end immediately may I decree to all those who have been stagnant for years tonight let there be light Darkness go. 
also means demons get out in Mark chapter 5 from verse 2 to 20 Mark 5, 2 to 20 in the story of the man who, who was uh, possessed by thousands of demons the one who controls the heavens and controls the earth by speaking spoke a word to the demons all he said is go and they disappeared. Once he sits in heaven, controls the earth by speaking. No struggles. No gimmicks. He will simply speak and things will happen tonight is speaking to the body of some people and whatever is wrong with their bodies is going to be put right he is speaking to every situation surrounding some people. He's speaking to demons, saying, leave these people alone. He's speaking to stagnation. Stagnation is over. And he's saying, let there be light. Now when he says, darkness go, he's also saying, sorrow go. Because in Psalm 30 verse 5, Psalm 30 verse 5 He says weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning darkness go means joy begin that's why I'm believing God for someone tonight. And from tonight onward, you will never know sorrow. When you go through the scriptures, in Mark chapter 5, from verse 35 to 43. Mark 5, 35 to 43. Mark 5, 35 to 43. When he got to Jairus' house, and people were weeping because the daughter was dead, one thing he said is, why are you weeping? The daughter is not there, she's only sleeping. The Bible said they laughed him to scorn. But do you know that before he puts an end to the sorrow of Jairus, he drove out the weepers. So in the name of the Almighty God, I hereby decree that weepers will no longer gather in your homes. 
ni pe awon abani kedun awon tin ba ni sofo won o ni gbejo ni ile ire mo when he decrease nipa to pa ase darkness go ti pe ki opopo jade kuro it means no more sorrow a couple of years ago a great man of god came to us and said that in his town Every year, Lord, Lord, somebody prominent must die. So there is always mourning in the town. He invited us to come. As God will have it, the town was not far from our path when we were going a fishing so we branched at the town and we decreed in the name of the almighty that there be no more sorrow in that town by the grace of god from that moment on yearly death ended in that town may i decree to all our traditional rulers because the almighty god was extremely happy today to see you praising him and i hereby decree in your kingdom there be no more premature deaths no more sorrow there will only be shouts of joy so shall it be in jesus name now when he says darkness go he says no more sorrow the Bible says he sends his word and he healed them. I believe very firmly that tonight God is not asking us to do a big theological study of heaven. All he wants is us to give him an avenue for him to speak to us. And he has been speaking and he will continue to speak. So if the Holy Ghost service of tonight does not follow the normal pattern you expect, it is because the results that will come tonight will not be the kind you have ever known before. Amen. For example, he asked me to tell someone that as far as you are concerned, your journey forward and upward we become extraordinarily fast he asked me to tell someone that recently you missed a breakthrough he asked me to inform you before the end of this month you will get a bigger one 
He asked me to tell someone that you are here listening to me right now. He said, you, you are not going to die very soon. Oh, thank you, Father. Is it okay if we just allow him to talk? I can't hear your yes. 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 At least if you know anything about me, you know by the grace of God, I normally prepare my sermons. I love to teach. But rather than me to teach and give you several things to write down, I would prefer that nobody lives here with any sickness. I will prefer that all your problems be solved. I will prefer that you don't know sorrow anymore. Is it okay if we just allow God to speak? If it's okay by you, shout hallelujah. Okay, now when he created the earth, the Bible said the earth was confused. It was in disorder. It was empty. Until God spoke. May I decree in the name that's above every other name. Confusion will end in your life tonight. See, when we talk about confusion, Another word for confusion is what we call a storm. In Mark chapter 4, from verse 35 to 41, <laughs> praise the Lord. That is said, Daddy, we be. I thought you said you will allow me to speak. <laughs> Hallelujah. Daddy, just go ahead, speak. Daddy asked me to tell someone. Daddy, <laughs> He said, very soon. Your song will be Now that the battery is over I want to say amen to this one before I tell you Because daddy asked me to tell someone he said, by the time the sun rises tomorrow, heaven would have opened over you. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy asked me, and, and I, I want to say amen to this one again. Professor, 
He said you should enlarge your capacity to thank him. He said because there is a flood of blessings coming your way. We pay ni to ripe o mi ya le ibuku o n kwa ni waju re Oh thank you father Daddy has me to tell someone Daddy ni ki so fun enikan If anybody ask you how are things Pe ti awon eniyan ba bere lowo re pe ba wo ni nkan Your answer will be good he asked me to tell you from tonight onward because what he wants to do for you when they ask you how are things you, you will say very good He asked me to tell someone. He said, trust me. Whatever I need to do to silence your mockers, I will do it. <laughs> Daddy says I should tell somebody. Daddy Nicky so when you come. He said, by this shall you know. That I am the one speaking through my servant. He said, I have a bag full of wonders for you. And you will get one every month for the rest of the year. I've never had it like this before. I want to teach you, but the Baba says don't. Daddy says someone is here. He said you will understand. He said that river will begin to flow again. Thank you, Daddy. At least one more before <laughs> he says one more before I go on, if I have to go on at all. And I believe this is for many of us. He asked me to tell somebody you will recover all. I think I better just round up. Let there be light. Jackie, Can be three things. Can mean three things. Only Jenny or no matter. A command from God. 
o le je ase lati odo olorun wa an advice from god o le je imoran lati odo olorun wa like in revelation chapter 3 verse 20 gege bi o ti wa ninu iwe ifihan ori keta ise ogun revelation 3:20 iwe ifihan ori keta ise ogun when god said i stand at the door and i knock nigba ti olorun so wi pe o duro le enu ona mo nkan kun if you open the door to me i will come in to ba sile ku pe ma wole is an advice o je imoran It's an advice like the first preacher who preached that heavenly sent message today. Gagabi Odi wasu akoko to n ba wa soro lati orun wa yen to n ba ti so. And I'm sure for the rest of his life he won't forget the harvest of souls of tonight most of my people who go to a year one one in back we are shelly yeah yeah me to learn rock by that it's an advice when god say hey come on to me if those of you are heavy lady come and i give you rest oh dear be more on get get your own song we're talking what's up we're going to see she's here to see you who will already be used to finish with me that's an advice imorani Thank God, so many people took the advice. I do perform a call up when you want to walk by money. But let there be light can be a cry for help. Jackie, my leg, who are too late? Jay, you pay for your lower. But Mel's cried. But if you keep me. I said, Lord, let there be light. Okay, Oluwa, Jaki Malek, Oluwa. And God answered him. Lord, sit down. I'm just obeying God. I'm not going to say a word more because that's that's how much He has allowed me to say. I'm going to ask you to pray. I will give you your prayer points. You want to write them down? Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> hey, God is here. And he's going to answer prayers beyond your widest imagination. Can only remember one night in the past when I had felt his presence like this. When I wanted to preach, and he said, No, don't preach, just make the altar call, and I made the altar call. And he did what he alone can do. Tonight he wants to answer your prayers. He has spoken to you. He may speak more before we go. I don't know, but this this is the way he wants it tonight. Write down your prayer points. Number one. Thank him. That we are able to make it here tonight. Thank him that you are connected with this program wherever you may be. You are not going to forget tonight for the rest of your life. Number one, thank God. Thank him that he's on he's still on his throne. And number two, say, Father, please speak to my body. Your world sorrow, say, around me. I don't just want to be healed. I 
don't want to be sick again forever. Speak to my body. Number three. Father, Baba, speak to my soul. Command it never to draw back from you. Speak to my soul. Command my soul. Ne never to draw back from you. Number four. Speak to my spirit. By me, Mister Envelop me with your divine power. If you are if me if you Speak to my spirit. Envelop me with your spiritual power. Number five. Speak to my life. That abundant life that you promised. I want it. Mm -hmm. Number six. Speak to my family. Let none of them miss heaven. Speak to my family. Wherever they may be right now. Speak to them. Let none of them miss heaven. Number seven. Speak to my future. Don't let me ever know shame again. And then you can add whatever prayer of your own that you want. The altar is open. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Lord will grant your request. It will speak to your bodies. From tonight, sickness will become a foreigner to you. From tonight, you will not backslide. From tonight, you will enjoy the power of the Holy Spirit. Your life will be transformed. Your family will serve God. 
In all areas of life, it shall be well with you. Thank you, Father. Amen. Daddy asked me to tell you. Daddy, he said, I have heard your cry. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen.